Hello everyone, welcome to part 144 of advanced e-com series in Laravel 8. So we are going to continue working on the orders module in admin panel and in this video uh, we are going to add few columns in our orders table and that are courier name and tracking number and that columns we are going to add for the shipped orders okay so every time uh, if client want to ship the order uh, he he will get the two fields here uh, like uh, courier name and tracking number in which he will add the courier name and the tracking number of the order from where he uh, shipped the order okay so these two things are necessary to ship the order uh, so these two things we will add here so that uh, in order invoice also we can show the both and uh, we can also send the email to the user email and sms to the user with these two things uh, that is the courier name and tracking number see whenever uh, you will uh, you will order from any of the website online uh, you will get uh, the tracking number and courier name uh, from where the order has been shipped uh, like blue dot like fedex like first flight okay so like fedex if you will uh, talk about the international courier then Fe uh, fedex is the international core courier and uh, most of the time one courier name like fedex is going to assign to you uh, with the tracking number and then you can just simply open the uh, that Korean name website like the fedex.com whatever website it is you will open that website and you can track your uh, courier okay so you will get two things here you will get the courier name as well as the tracking number at the time of the shipment okay so uh, in a mail also you have seen many times uh, like for the Indian users if you uh, know that Flipkart Amazon okay so all provide these details at the time of the shipment uh, so here also we are going to uh, cover this one uh, so let's start first of all we are going to update the orders table that we have created a few videos back the orders table that we are working on from the last few videos and we are going to add two columns that is the courier name and tracking number with the help of migration okay so we are not going to add the columns here otherwise you can simply add here this is simple enough two columns you can add after grand total and here you can add that uh, uh, courier name and tracking number with where care 255 and save and that is done but we are going to do with the better way that laravel uh, recommends and that is with the help of migration okay so uh, let's do that thing i am going to right click and will run artisan command new terminal at folder you can if you are in windows you know how to run your artisan commands and here i am going to create the migration file php artisan make migration i am going to update orders table so i will make it like old update orders table like this and after that i will open this migration file here sorry this one is not required we will open the ecom our project that is ecom project so we are going to open that update orders table this one and here we are going to add the columns that we want to add first we will uh, give the uh, table name like this here we are going to give the table name orders here the function will come dollar table like this and dollar table here we will add the column name string we will add first column is the courier name like i have told you that we will add the courier name and we are going to add this courier name after the particular column we are going to add after grand total so here we are going to mention after grand total okay like this and one more column we are going to add and that is the tracking number that we are going to add after courier name okay so both the columns we are going to add courier name after grand total and tracking number after courier name okay so here we will give 
the down function we will also update the down function because if in case we want to roll back the changes then we have the option to roll back the changes as well so this one also we are going to fill we are going to do like this and here we will give the drop column command as well column courier name and tracking number okay so uh, now we can continue uh, that uh, looks fine uh, these two fields we have added and we have also given in case uh, we want to undo the changes this one and this one okay so we can run the php artisan migrate command now php artisan migrate and now we are going to see there is some issue okay so we are going to check where is the issue here is the issue it's not completed now we are going to check once again and now this time again there is some issue so we need to check carefully uh, where we are creating the issue table orders function dollar table that is closed and this one will have the single braces now it seems to be fine uh, yeah like this okay so now we are going to run once again and this time it's done okay you can see final command and this one is updated order table that is fine and now we can check the structure and two columns have been added Korean underscore name and tracking underscore number after grand total with where 255 okay so we able to add both these columns now we want to add the fields here okay so both the fields we are going to add here and now we will open that uh, file uh, I think it's uh, order details files that we have worked on last few times in admin panel and here after going down after this one before update button we are going to add these two fields okay so let's add two fields and one more we are going to add and here we are going to give the style style we will give some width to it and we will give like 120 pixel we will give this style because we don't want too much space here and type test type test we are going to give a name <coughs> see here we are going to give the courier name courier name and id also we are going to give because we want to show the courier name and uh, that uh, tracking number in case of shipped only so for that we will add the jquery as well so uh, so it's better to give the id as well tracking number here and id tracking number once again <coughs> and we are going to give the placeholder as well placeholder will help us to know that what exact data we have to enter in this field in this particular field so that also we are going to add like this now we are going to check here and we'll see Korean name and tracking number that is fine see later on if we will select the ship then only we are going to see these two fields uh, yeah we can do it right now if we want to do so just simply open the admin script and here at the end we can write the jquery for this one this is uh, not that much complex here we can also write uh, show courier what it's spelling courier name and tracking number in case of shipped status 
order status we can do shift order status okay so for this one we will add the jquery and uh, like uh, first of all we are going to uh, hide both uh, courier name we have the ids there we are going to hide and also we are going to hide tracking number this one also we have hide so both we have hide and now we can check once here see both we have hide and when uh, the uh, change or order status change status updated to shift then we are going to show both okay so uh, see select box so we want to check the name of the select box we want to add the id for the uh, for the select as well so here we are going to add the id for select as well then we are going to give the order status okay so here when we are going to uh, change this one change the uh, value of the order status select column uh, then uh, we want to uh, see if the value is shipped then we will show both otherwise we will hide both these new columns okay so uh, there is one jquery uh, we are going to add here like uh, we will add uh, we will uh, on we will uh, change event on select change event on change event we are going to add so for that first of all the id of the that select field will come that is the order status id now on change event on change of this uh, select okay on change of this select so we are going to pick the change so change function will come up here so like this so first of all i'm going to alert uh, its value and we are going to use the this dot value so whatever value will come it will come up here let's see so i click on shift now you can see the shift value has come okay so it is fine if i click on pending you can see the pending value is coming so this is working fine so in case of shift value if in case shift value will come then we are going to show both these columns both these fields Korean name and tracking number okay so we are going to check with if this dot value is equal to equal to shift then we are going to show both these fields i am going to copy this both and will paste here like this and with the show event and this one we can move as well and now we can check refresh see if i will select the ship then both the fields are coming Korean name and tracking number and if i will select some other then we uh, want to hide both these if we will select any other field as well so for this one we will add the else condition and in else we are going to hide this both okay simple enough we are going to hide this both in case of hide okay so just this thing you need to add refresh and now you can see in case of shift we are showing both and if in case the client selects some other then we are going to hide both okay so this is the working of these two fields now we are going to enter uh, data in these two fields and we have to submit this data uh, to our uh, orders table for this one we have created uh, these two fields already and for that we are going to update uh, the orders controller uh, there is the function we are going to update that update order status i think that is the function see we will open the orders controller and here we are going to update this function okay so like we are updating the update order status and now we are going to update the uh, that uh, we are going to update the uh, Korean name and tracking number okay so for this one update courier name and tracking 
number okay so for this one first of all we will check that whether these both are coming or not if both are coming then we are going to uh, uh, add the uh, uh, add the query for uh, the, add the update query uh, for uh, for uh, updating these two uh, columns that is code name and tracking number in our orders table okay so here we will add the condition if not empty and here dollar data courier name and one more is there and that is and and not empty and here dollar data and that is the tracking number then we are going to uh, now here i uh, yeah, here we want to add here if we are first where condition will come here id dollar data order id update now we are going to update both courier name as well as tracking number now we are going to check here we are going to refresh and we'll check whether the both will come or not i will select the shift status and here i am going to add the courier name and tracking number let's add uh, fedex as courier name and tracking number like five four nine eight zero zero like this okay so core uh, tracking numbers are long enough okay so we're going to click on update so let's see both must uh, uh, be shown in our orders table see email is going here see now we are going to click on browse and we'll check this is the th uh, sorry yeah th this is the 13th id i think uh, yeah 13th id so we will check in 13th id and see here the fedex has come as courier name and tracking number comes here as well so both we able to insert yeah okay in case of shipped only in case of shipped order status we able to update both fedex and the tagging number okay so now this one i hope this is clear to you now uh, we are going to update the email as well in email see right now email has gone if you will open the email see email also gone away uh, with ship status you can check here email so you can see the email has gone see stack developer logo here and the email has gone with the ship status see status has been updated to ship now along with this thing we also want to uh, send the, the Korean name and tracking number to the user okay so both these things we are going to send to the user see you can add one more thing of your own you can add uh, the tracking website as well okay so that uh, user can uh, have that tracking website as well so this one you can add from your end but in next video we are going to add in email and we will also send in sms and we will show the uh, that uh, both uh, tracking number and and uh, that uh, uh, Korean name here as well and we will also show here somewhere okay so that thing we are going to do in next video so stay tuned for that have a nice time goodbye